We're back at our Two Dog Vista build. Over the past few weeks, we've had a ton of weather and a ton of progress. Let's see where we're at. Just about a week ago, there was a snowstorm, and at my house we got 32 inches. Up here, we got around 36 inches. Our roof is very flat. We have a very low pitch roof. And what that did was the snow just stacked up and stacked up and stacked up. And so three feet of snow up there had to be cleared off. So our roofing crew spent an entire day shoveling off the roof, pushing it off the sides. And at one point, the snow was probably close to five feet tall, but it was all packed down from them pushing it over. And that's why we had to bring our excavator in with his skid steer to actually move those piles away from the sides of the house. One of the requirements to building in Evergreen and in the foothills is a fire rated roof. And so our fire rated roof assembly is right here. We have our fire rated board at the top and then we have our tapered system. So if you look here, this would be our sheathing up top, which is our OSB layer, which is on top of all our roof joists. And then we have what's called your tapered system. So what the tapered system is doing is it's actually directing the water. Since our roof was framed flat on purpose, uh, the tapered system is shedding the water and it's designed to do so. In talking with our roof contractor, he actually recommended us upgrading to a 90 mil, which is a thicker EPDM because this material actually goes over the top of all that material. And that's the real protective layer for the roof. They make this in a number of different thicknesses. 60 mil is pretty standard, but 90 mil is certainly an upgrade. And so we talked with our roofer, we presented it to our owner, told them about the pros and the advantages of going with a thicker material, and he decided to do so, and that's why our roof ended up being a 90 mil roof. Okay, so here we are up on the roof. Right now I'm on a sloped portion of the roof, very low slope, but here above me, uh, this is the main section of the house and this was framed flat and this has a taper system underneath. And so we have a peak where the highest part of that taper system is and then everything runs out from there and it'll run over and off the edge of the roof. Behind me, you'll see a sloped portion of the roof, which is over the vista room on the very end there. And this has a gentle slope to it. But as you can see, the snow sits up here and stays up here. The homeowners had wanted to do some snow stops on here. A snow stop is used to actually hold the snow back. So as the sun hits it, it melts slowly and it holds the snow. If you've ever seen a metal roof, a metal roof has those ribs on it and a lot of times, if there, there are no snow stops on a metal roof, that snow will just slide right off and actually could end up injuring somebody. And so that's the reason why you put snow stops on. It also helps as the snow is melting to melt it slowly and to go down the gutter and out the downspout. But here you can see the snow is still here and it's melting slowly. So I don't think we're gonna need snow stops on this side of the roof. Over the past few weeks, the framers have made a lot of progress on the zip system and our zip panels have been installed for the most part throughout the house. The next step to the system, the zip system, is actually installing the zip tape. So the zip tape is used on all the seams where we have our, our panels coming together at all of our joints. It's for air leakage as well as water intrusion. And it's an acrylic based tape. Uh, taped. And so the, the acrylic is actually pressure activated. And that's the reason why you have to roll the tape. You can use any roller, but Zip provides a really cool roller. And so as you apply the tape on these seams, you have to come in and roll the tape and put pressure against the tape. On this roller, there's these little Zs. And so what that is, is if we're looking up high, we need to make sure that we can see that this tape has actually been rolled, which means that it's been activated. And the bond actually gets stronger over time once the tape has been rolled. This morning I actually put on two pieces of the zip tape. One piece I put on and I just used my hand to make it stick. 
The other side, I actually use the roller. We can peel this off and I'll show you the coverage on the back side of the tape to see what sort of adhesion we have. So this is the side that I just used my hand to push this tape on. And you can see there's actually a lot of gaps and areas where the tape did not um, uh, settle into the textured material on the zip panel here. And so this was not pressure activated uh, with the roller. It was just my hand and you can see um, that we did not get great adhesion on the back side of this tape. This side I use the roller. Let's pull it off and see how well this has adhered. Look at that. It's even more difficult to pull off and we've got great coverage. Look at that. So the pressure that was applied, you can actually see the adhesion and the material is spread out a lot more. The material on the back side of the tape has set in to the zip panel and we have great coverage and over time that adhesion will get activated even more and become even stronger. So once your tape has been applied to the seams, it's been rolled, you've got that acrylic adhesion on the back side of the tape uh, getting stronger over time. It pretty much wraps up the system and that's why we love the zip system. We love using the zip system. It's a pretty simple installation as long as you're following the manufacturer's uh, specifications and instructions. And I just wanted to give a special thanks to Huberwoods for partnering with us on this build as well as this video series. All right, I told you we were gonna have a special guest on this episode today and this is Troy with Straight Line Framing. He is the foreman, lead framer, expert at what uh, it takes. Man. Renaissance man, exactly. So he's the man behind the framing. We've talked a lot about it over the past few episodes with regards to the staggered wall system that we have. We've got the Myrex over the top plate. So this is not your normal framed home. Like, So you're the lead on site yeah. typically, and you get ahead of all the guys. You know what's coming up. He kind of can foresee any issues or things that may arise. Yep. Yeah. I, I usually get the plans. Oh, hopefully yeah. a week or two before we start building. In this house, we had I had quite a bit of plant time to uh, review plans. Yep. Um, lots of details on the corners, around the windows, and yep. things like that to make bare minimum um, sight lines. So, or or to give them maximum sight lines by keeping our framing bare minimum. After every day, I kind of look at what we did and, and um, take some notes and figure out what the guys are going to do the next day, and yep. and um, and away we go in the morning. Yeah. So. so. Yeah. That, so like we're standing right where a couch is going to be, and there's going to be a TV there. But the view out to the west is amazing. Yep. I mean, we both get to work in some amazing office spaces. I mean, essentially, this is our office. This is Troy's office. Yep. I mean, there's day where the days where the wind is blowing and howling and there's snow and there's rain and yeah. there's all the elements that we get up here. But uh, yeah, yeah, push yeah. through it. One of my other main projects is keeping our plans together. I've gone through about a roll and a half of packing tape, yeah. fixing our plans from the wind. So all the edges get torn and yep. ripped and all that. Yep, shredded. I used to I used to take them home and as a like a trophy and these probably won't be going home. There's not much left of them. <laughs> and something that's really cool with uh, Troy, his son Austin actually works on site as well. So his son is here helping out with framing. He works for Straight Line as well. Yep. Every job that we've done together since 2017. So we've been working together for seven years. Seems like longer. Yeah. But uh, every job that we've worked on together with Straight Line, um, it's Troy and Austin and the guys. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna get some windows installed and our zip system completed. If you're not following along on Instagram, make sure to do so at Rangeline Homes for some daily content. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button.